Let's make lemon cream cheese bars. They are tart, they are chewy, they are soft, and they are sweet. They're like a lemon bar, but with the added richness and tanginess of cream cheese. It sounds dreamy because it is dreamy, and I promise if you make it with me, you won't regret it. Okay, to start, I have my oven preheating to 375, and I have a nine by nine baking pan here that I've placed two rectangles of parchment paper in. Um, I've cut them to size so that when I fit them into the pan, um, all of the sides are covered and protected. And this will make it so much easier to remove the lemon bars from the pan once they're done cooling. So it looks like this. And now in a bowl, I'm gonna combine one and a third cups of granulated sugar, one stick of melted butter, and one egg. All right, and I'm just gonna mix these together with a spoon. You honestly don't even need a whisk because the sugar will dissolve into the egg and the butter. And you just wanna mix it until it's just starting to dissolve and it becomes a light pale yellow color. Now I'm going to add two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt. This cookie with the ratio of butter to flour to salt is a really chewy and slightly salty crust, which adds a completely different texture and a complementing saltiness that makes the sweetness and the richness of the filling just be all the more balanced in the bar. It's my go-to chewy lemon bar crust. It's gonna take a little bit of work to combine the dry ingredients into all of the wet ingredients, but once you do, you'll have a dough that's like the texture of Play-Doh. It's really soft, um, but it doesn't stick to your hand because it has so much butter in it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my prepared nine by nine inch pan and sprinkle the dough in. So I just crumble the dough in like this, just to help me spread it around on the bottom evenly. I'm gonna go in and use the bottom side of a measuring cup to press the dough in and make a really level, even crust. All right, now that my crust is pressed and ready to go, I'm gonna throw it into my 375 degree oven until it just begins to brown a little bit on the surface. So that'll be about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, while my crust is baking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cream cheese filling. And I'm gonna do that with just five simple ingredients, okay? So the first ingredient is 16 ounces, or two packages, of cream cheese. And I softened this by putting it in the microwave for about 20 seconds. To this, I'm going to add two and a half cups of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna beat this together on low, trying to prevent the powdered sugar from exploding out of the bowl. And then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I'm now going to add two whole eggs. And I'm also gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl um, just so that the cream cheese can fully incorporate with the eggs. To this, I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of all-purpose flour. You can use cake flour, you can use bread flour, whatever flour you have on hand. I'm gonna increase the speed to medium-high once the eggs are incorporated, and I'm gonna beat it on high for about two minutes. My crust has just finished baking, um, and it's lightly browned on the surface. Um, it also baked for about 14 minutes, so it's still a little soft in the center if you press, um, but the top is definitely dry and brown and crusty, which is exactly what we're going for. You want these brown spots here, but it's still really soft and tender. That really soft interior with the crisp outside on the top and on the bottom of the crust is what's gonna make the really chewy, irresistibly buttery crust to this bar. My cream cheese filling is incredibly fluffy. It looks something like this. I'm gonna wait for my crust to cool just a little bit, probably about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to spread my cream cheese filling all over the crust. Okay, my crust is cooled now for 15 minutes, and so it's ready to go. And I'm going to take my cream cheese filling, and I'm just going to spread it evenly across the surface of the crust. The egg and the flour in this helps the cream cheese filling to set in the oven. So it's still really fluffy and airy, but it's solid, um, which is perfect in contrast to the lemon curd that we're going to incorporate. So this is three quarters of a cup of store-bought lemon curd. Um, 
I love this lemon curd, it's delicious. If you wanna make your own, that's perfectly fine and you can use it here. You just wanna make sure it's pretty thick, probably the, the thickness of toothpaste. I always put it in a bowl first and stir it to loosen it up before I incorporate it into the filling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dollop this lemon curd all across the surface of my lemon bars here and I'm going to take a butter knife and swirl the lemon curd into the filling. The cream cheese filling will bake around it, so it will create these ribbons of tangy, sweet lemon um, all throughout the bars. That once you slice it, you can even see the distinction between the two layers. It's delicious. I'm gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven Notice it's 25 degrees cooler than the 375 that we cooked the crust at for 50 minutes. And I'm gonna rotate the pan halfway through baking just to make sure that it bakes evenly. You don't want one side to be more browned than the other. My lemon cream cheese bars are done and they've been cooling now for over an hour. You definitely don't wanna slice them before they're at room temperature because if they're still warm, then they will pool out a little bit when you cut them. Um, but now, since mine are cooled and ready to go, this is what it looks like when it's done baking. You can see the beautiful swirling, um, and it's nice and like a lovely brown color. I am going to use the parchment paper that I lined the dish with earlier to pull it out. And then I'm gonna cut this into nine equal portions, but you can slice it however you want. All right, the big reveal. You can see this incredibly thick layer of bottom crust here at the base of the bar. And then if you look at the center of the bar, you can see that the cream cheese filling is fluffy and set, but then you have like these gooey pockets of lemon curd kind of strewn throughout the bar. Okay, now is the moment of truth. That bottom layer makes this bar better than any other lemon bars you'll ever have. It's really chewy and buttery. I could eat that by itself, but why would I when I can make this bar? Um, because the filling is, it has the sweetness and the tartness of a lemon bar, but it's not as tart because you have cream cheese, which is more, it's a different kind of acidity. It's tangier uh, and richer. And so all together, you have these different textures, these different flavors to make this super decadent and really, really satisfying um, lemon cream cheese bar dessert. If you've liked what you've seen today, then subscribe to the YouTube channel for Southern Living. Thanks.